Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tracy Gorick, Light, Hope, and Healing. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, and spiritual mentor. I use all of that to help you find out what's wrong and get you well. So, today's topic is, to heal, you have to do things that you perceive as hard, okay? So, what does that mean? We get in this position where we're sick because of our past traumas, because of our programming, and because of our the obstacles that we've had in our life, right? We that's where we for the most part why we're sick. And so we have to change things in our life. We have to change what we're doing. So that's why like I did the video change one thing today. Start by changing one thing. But what it comes down to is doing things that we perceive as hard, right? And we perceive something as hard, then we tend to not want to do it. But what I've noticed with myself is the things that I perceive as hard or it's just something I don't want to do, we make it in our mind like it's hard and then we don't do it, okay? So the first one that I would really look at if you're having health issues is your uh, food. What are you eating? Sugar for me is one of the worst things that I can have and um, it affects me very much so and I can now as I you know pretty much I don't hardly eat well sometimes I do eat some sugar more than I should but for the most part I don't eat as much for sure as I did when I was younger and because I had um, that's what made me do it is I noticed in my body I had chronic yeast and I couldn't get rid of it within even the prescriptions so I had to literally cut it out to get rid of it and once I had done that, I never went back to the way I ate sugar before. Um, like I said, I still have it here and there, but now my body lets me know right away that it's not the right thing for me. And when you start doing things that are good for you, you will notice it in your body when you go back and do it. So our bodies are wonderful that way because they show us when we need to change something. And that's what pain and illness is showing us. It's showing us when we need to change something, right? So, look at your food. If you're having pain, illness, stress, anxiety, look at your food first. Sugar would be a number one culprit. A lot of carbs are going to be a culprit. But, like I've said before, and I talk, tell my clients, you, you have to look on an individual basis. You can't do what somebody else is doing and expect it to work the same for you. We're all different, and we're all affected differently by different foods so you have to figure out what it is your body needs you to do right don't do what others are doing but research for yourself um, so cutting out sugar so that's doing something hard because it's an addictive substance right pay attention when you're getting ready to have some sugar your mouth starts watering it's like a pretty it's like a drug addicted reaction so pay attention and you'll then you'll see what I'm talking about so that is something that's hard to do, right? But once you do it, you feel better. And, and what I want you to do is like, well, what is hard? And what do you perceive as hard? And why is it hard, right? Because is it really hard to do? It's not. It's not like you're running a marathon. To me, that, that's hard to do. Now, understand, I think cutting out sugar is hard to do. But is it really hard to cut out sugar? You have to come up with different things for yourself to make it so it's not as hard, right? And once you get past the hump, then it's easy. Another thing I wanted to talk about, so I've always used this thing to help yourself heal is to start being grateful, grateful for the things in your life. And I did this thing writing 100 things you're grateful for for 100 days. And it's hard, but is it really hard? right? I couldn't get anybody else to do it with me. I offered things to people, you know, a drawing for the ones that entered in and would do it. I couldn't get anybody to do it with me. But let me tell you, doing that has changed my life. I did it twice now. Whenever, two, both times I was really getting into a low place and having a hard time. I did that as a reset. Wrote a hundred things for a hundred days I was grateful for. What's hard about it is taking the time, right? So I want you to look at things. Are they hard or is it just making time for yourself? 
In order to heal, you have to make time for yourself. You have to change something in your life. And that's what we think is hard. I don't know if it comes from the programming or what, but we've got to break from that and change things in our life. Because if you keep going on the same way you're doing, you're not going to get better and heal. So you have to change what you're doing. That's the beauty of our bodies. It's telling us what we need to do and that we do need to change things in our life. And then the final one I want to talk about that's perceived as hard. And these are all ones that I've done, and that's why I'm talking about it. I remember years ago, I, I heard about um, taking a cold shower. It helps your immune system. It helps your joints. It helps you just feel awakened for the day, right? And I was like, oh, are you kidding me? No way I can take a cold shower. That's miserable. It's hard. But I finally did it. And after I did it for a couple of weeks, it's not hard, you know? It's not hard. It's just you have to stand in cold water. So it's a mental thing, right? In my opinion, these things aren't hard. They're more of a mental thing you have to overcome to do. It's about taking the time for yourself and doing things for yourself, right? That's what we need to do. And those things appear hard, right? Whenever you're changing something in your life and you're breaking yourself from your routine that you've had forever, it appears to be hard. But that's the way you're going to change your life. And once you start doing it and you get into the routine of it, it's no longer hard. Okay? So start making changes today. Pick one thing and change it. Do it for a couple weeks and then add something else. But we've got to break these cycles and change what we're doing so we can heal our bodies. Right? So the gratitude thing, I'm giving you some ideas. Right? Look at your diet. Start cutting things out of your diet. Um, Writing your, what you're grateful for. Try the 100 things for 100 days. That's a quick way to get you looking at what you are grateful for in your life. Because you have to start looking at little things even, right? To come up with those 100 things every day. And understand, it doesn't have to be different every day. You can write some of the same things. Change it up a little bit, though. Start looking at things. Like, I, you know, a pen. You're grateful for this colored pen or whatever. But do the 100 things you're grateful for because when you are in gratitude... You can't be upset, right? So we're trying to train our minds to start looking at the things that you're grateful for in your life, and that's a great way to do it. Okay, so diet, grateful, and cold showers. Try taking a cold shower. It lifts me up in the morning and gets me going for the day. And it helps your immune system and if you have aches and pains. Probably even better than that would be doing the cold plunge. Um, haven't quite gotten there yet, but this is a good start, and it does help me, all right? So that's what I have for today. Let's get ready. If you enjoyed this video, but you feel you need more help, I have a membership group. We meet twice a month on Tuesdays where we have topics and I answer questions. On Wednesdays, I send healing to whatever you put that you want healing sent to. And on Mondays, I do a group channeled message just for this group. So we'd love to have you in there. It's all the information is in the description below as Tracy's Sacred Tribe membership. All right, so check it out. Let's get ready for the healing meditation. If you are driving or using heavy equipment, stop the video now and come back later when you're done driving and using heavy equipment. The healing meditation tends to make you drowsy, sleepy, and so it's best to come back later and finish the healing meditation when you're done driving or using heavy equipment. All right, so let's close our eyes, get comfy, either lay down and sit up, and we're going to take a deep breath in now. Hold it, and exhale. Another deep breath in. Hold it, and exhale. Last deep breath in. Hold it. And this time on the exhale, relax your whole body. I want you to imagine now blue light coming into the top of your head. It's going to go down into your heart. Now I want you to imagine red light coming up from earth into the bottoms of your feet, up your legs, connecting at your spine, up your spine and into your heart. That blue and that red light are going to combine now and turn to violet. 
And now it's going to turn into the flame, the violet flame in your heart. It's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. We're going to take that violet flame down into the solar plexus, cleansing, clearing out all of our traumas and past traumas and current traumas and future traumas because that's where we send, tend to hold it is right there in the solar plexus. Now move that violet flame back up into your heart and I want you to expand that violet flame through your whole physical body. Just see it going down to your feet, getting larger and larger, moving up in your legs your torso, your chest, your arms, and your head. You're just all violet flame. It's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. Now expand that out into your energy. Now expand it even more into the whole room you're in. Sit there with that violet flame and see how powerful you are and the abilities you do have. It's just using your imagination. All right, now when it feels done, bring that back in to your heart. So the violet flame's in your heart. We're going to take that violet flame and send it back up to God's source to transmute it. I want you to imagine now gold light coming down into the top of your head. It's going down into your heart. Now we're going to expand that gold light. I found it's much more powerful when it's coming from within you. So expand that gold light again to fill your legs all the way down to your feet, your torso, your shoulders, your arms, your head. And once it feels there, now fill out your whole energy, your aura, with that gold light. Now expand even more to the room you're in, this gold light. Just sit with that for a minute. Now I want you to bring gold light in again. It's going to go all the way down your spine, splits at your legs, down your legs, out the bottom of your feet, down into Mother Earth, wraps around Mother Earth, comes back up your feet, up your legs, connects at your spine, all the way up your spine, out the top of your head, up to God's source, whatever your belief is, and then back down. So you're getting healing from God's source, Earth, the crystals in Earth, and I will send healing in just a little bit. But right now I want you to send healing and your gold light to those that have harmed you. And you're just going to put it right in front of them so they can heal. But this is for you more than them, but they can have it also if they accept it. But this is to heal a situation for you, not that you need to be around them, hang around them. It's just to heal it for you. So go ahead and send that now. Now add sending this gold light to those you may have harmed. And if you don't know, just send it with the intention that it goes to those you may have harmed. And now send gold light to all of your family. This is just to help them. It's there if they're struggling and they can have that if they wish. All right, when you feel that's all done, bring the gold light back into your heart. Remember, you're getting healing from God's source, earth, the crystals in earth, and I'm going to send healing to you now. So sit back and relax, and I will begin now.
take a deep breath in, hold it, and then exhale and release everything that came up in that violet flame that's right in front of you to clear it out of your body. Go ahead and open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and your toes, and come back. All right, that's what we have for today. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, go do something you love every day. Do at least one thing you love. Sing, dance, run around the yard, watch a movie, but do at least one thing every day you love. And then do at least one thing of self-care every day. Drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever it is for you that's self-care. Do at least one of those every day. And then look for the good in everything. Because when you start looking for the good, you see the good and more good comes back to you. And when you see something in somebody, say it to them. Help you and them. Lift them up and you. And then finally, write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things and I promise you, you're going to see a difference in your life. Alright, so that's what I have for today. Have a great day. I love you all and I will see you soon. Bye.